I'm Herman Martz here. I'm the National Outreach Coordinator for Christian United for Israel. And today we're going to talk about Israel Course Lesson 10, the Holocaust and World War II. Learning the Holocaust can be challenging. This is not a Holocaust course that is meant to be, but it is meant to provide a context and understanding for a major event in history of the Jewish people in the world. In the previous course, we learned about the Jewish life in Palestine, how a group of Jewish immigrants worked to build Palestine through Jewish values amid rejection from Arabs of Palestine who used violence as a way of removing Jews from their own ancestral homeland. You also learn about the emerging threat of Nazism, which resulted in an increase of Jewish immigration to Palestine. In this lesson, we will learn about Hitler and the Nazis and their effect on the Jewish people as well as Israel's founding following the worst genocide in history. When the Jews of Palestine grapple with Arab attacks and struggle to create a basis for a national home, the Jews in Europe were under siege. As you probably know from your history classes, the rise of Hitler in Germany, the spread of Nazi ideology and the genocide of the Holocaust took place throughout the 1930s and into the early 1940s. Hitler's hate had its basis in the persecution labeling of the Jews as non-fitting. Hitler used them as a scapegoat for the challenges that confronted Germany in the wake of World War II. Hitler's twisted form of Christianity played a big role in his deprived action in the Holocaust. His vision to create a master Aryan race led to the calculated murder of approximately 11 million people during his dictatorship, targeting those incompatible with his worldview, such as people with disabilities, homosexuals, non-wise clergies, artists, and politicians who opposed his murderous regime. They were labeled as substandard. The Nazis murdered five million of these so-called undesirables. Hitler focused especially on eradicating Judaism from the world. His soldiers rounded up, rounded up Jews across Europe, imprisoned them, tortured, starved, beat them, put them in concentration camps, gassing them to death. He destroyed families, hometowns, communities, and many um, people. Hitler murdered six million Jews in Europe. The genocide is known as the Holocaust and remains the worst tragedy to befall the Jewish people in their long history. See, one of the most tragic aspects of the Holocaust was the world's silence as millions of people were murdered, aided by collaborators throughout Europe, people who hated Jews, had the Nazis' rise to power. They were also bystanders, the people who did nothing to stop the violence and murder throughout Europe. Government around the world, understanding the Nazi threat, were also culpable in the deaths of the 11 million. While some did the Jewish refugees a small degree of favor, and many nations, but many nations refused to open their borders to the refugees and did not increase the number of visa available. This refusal, refusal was a death sentence for the majority of the Jews in Germany. For many Jews, Palestine seemed, seemed a national option. But the Arabs demanded that the Jewish immigration to Palestine stop immediately. Eventually, the British, when they ruled Palestine, allowed limited immigration to 75,000 people over the period of five years and forbade land sale to the Jews. The Jews in Palestine attempted to smuggle as many refugees as they could through a perilous process over land and sea in war in Europe. Approximately, approximately 66 66 ship carrying refugees from Europe attempted to enter Palestine, but only handful were able to pass the British blockade of the coast. Many died at sea and were sent back to Europe. Jews and Jews from the Middle East were smuggled in over land, approximately about 9,000 entering the country illegally during the period. Today, there are about 100,000 Holocaust survivors left to tell the stories about 50,000 of them remain in the United States, and the youngest survivor already about 75 years old. In the Holocaust, six out of every seven Jews died. Six out of every seven Jewish people died. When the war ended, the rallies and the allies were victorious, 
Those liberated from the concentration camps were faced with the terrible reality. Most of their families and friends and loved ones had been killed and no homes to return to. Many were displaced and put in displaced prison, prison camps or person camps. While many during the Holocaust seemed to have lost their moral compass in the dark period of history, there were those who risked their lives to save Jews and targets, the targets of Nazi murders. People banded together in resistance cells, underground armies throughout Europe, fighting the Nazis, both covertly and overtly, in conjunction with the Allied powers. Other called religious or righteous Gentiles work against the evil in their own terms. These individuals and families face danger, imprisonment, and death to save the lives of colleagues, friends, neighbors, and completely strange, complete strangers. Among the righteous Gentiles was, D is Dietrich, there was Dietrich Bonhoeffer, a German pastor, a theologian, who stoutly resisted the Nazis, and it cost him everything. And eventually he was hung by the Nazis. In the words of Bonhoeffer, silence in the face of evil is itself evil. God will not hold us guiltless. Not to speak is to speak. Not to act is to act. I mean, what's the, what are the implications of the Holocaust and, and, and World War II and the founding of Israel? When the war ended, governments refused to allow unrestricted immigration. Many survivors wanted to migrate to Palestine and will be met with resistance and violence by the Arabs. But the Jewish immigration moved forward by many means. The British eventually returned Palestine to the United Nations. In 1947, the UN recommended the partition, dividing Palestine into a state for Arabs and for the Jews. With an internationalized Jerusalem, the Arabs rejected the plan, demanded a unitary Arab state. The Jews of Palestine, however, despite being offered a small territory, consistently mostly of arid desert without defensible borders and losing the hope of sovereignty over Jerusalem and the historic capital, they accepted the plan, desperate to build a national home and provide a refuge for the displaced Jews who had survived the Holocaust. Arabs not only rejected the plan, but launched large-scale attacks on Jewish communities. Hundreds of Jews were killed in riots and other terror attacks between 19... November 29, 1947, and the date Israel officially declared independence on May 14, 1948. Yet over ruling Arab objections, on November 29, 1947, the United Nations formally adopted the partition. And after 2,000 years of exile, discrimination, murder, and genocide, the Jewish people would finally have sovereignty in their ancient homeland. And you know, today, sadly, there's the many people, many individuals, groups, institutions in our society who continue to deny the Holocaust and spread lies and that it never happened. It is for this reason that Kufi exists, to educate America and the world that this evil, that anti-Semitism and Holocaust must never happen again. Thank you.